Ramsey's priority couldn't be clearer as Newcastle wait on personal transfer. Aaron Ramsey faces one of the biggest games of his life at the end of March, but no one seems to know where he'll be by then. It is just under 80 days until Ramsey's Wales take on Austria in their World Cup playoff semi-final, and while that has been enough time to go several circuits around the planet for quite a while now, it has long been assumed that the globetrotting Ramsey has done will come to an end this month. It was of course a hugely lucrative decision to take the leap and joined Juventus from Arsenal in the summer of 2019, but it was also a brave one. Like his Wales teammate Gareth Bale before him, Ramsey showed a willingness to sample life abroad at one of the world's major clubs instead of stay in the insulated life of the Premier League. His move to Turin raised some eyebrows, but it could not be doubted that on his day, he has certainly been good enough to play for a club of such stature. He did it 369 times for Arsenal after all, experiencing highs and lows and sometimes acting as a lightning rod for those often difficult late Arsene Wenger years. He's been used to battling to survive at major clubs then, but it is the way that has translated onto the international scene which has kept Ramsey in our minds over the past couple of years, more so than anything he did in a Juventus shirt. With Wales, Ramsey is used to playing with players from a vast array of clubs from Liverpool to Luton, and readings reserves to Real Madrid, and one of the best things about his international career is that he seems to treat everyone the same. He is at his best when he is one of the players looked to to inspire, something he sometimes was at Arsenal, but never really has been at Juve, as his outright quality shines through in an attacking sense, but also his hard work can be appreciated off the ball when players of a lesser quality have to dig in. Yes there have been the injuries, but for Wales he has pretty much always been there when they've needed him in recent times. There were the two goals against Hungary to ensure qualification for Euro 2020 and his goal and excellent performance against Turkey while he was there. More recently he came to four as Wales engineered a second-place finish in their World Cup qualification group, setting up that March playoff against Austria and then hopefully a winner-takes-all final in Cardiff, potentially against Scotland. And whomever it is that signs Ramsey will surely be aware that he's got his eye on that game, or hopefully games. Having turned 31 on Boxing Day and playing for nation who haven't been to a World Cup since 1958, he would be wondering just how many more chances he'll get, were it not for the answer being obvious. This should be it. Perhaps this is the reason why Ramsey is said to be personally staking out his next move, as per reports in Italy, as he seeks to make sure that his new employers know just how much his country matters. Could a club like Newcastle, in the midst of a relegation battle, put up with it then? They could be handsomely rewarded if they do. This next bit of Ramsey's career will be geared toward Qatar next winter.